welcome friends in this video let's discuss about rise of magadhan empire so we know that in 6th century bc there were a lot of territorial states and among these territorial states the most prominent the most biggest were mahajanapadas so these 16 states were called mahajanapadas of the 6th century bc among these 16 magadhan empire was the most powerful it expanded at the cost of other mahajanapadas and grew uh, by attacking other territories and also expanding its own territory. So, the political history of India from 6th century BC onwards is the history of struggle between these states for supremacy. But finally, the kingdom of Magadha emerged to the most powerful and succeeded in founding an empire during the later period. The story of Magadhan Empire is very interesting. I am going to reveal this story for you right now. Okay? So, from 6th century to 4th century BC, Magadha was the most powerful and prosperous kingdom in North India. So, the founders of Magadhan Empire was Jarasandra and Brahadrata. So, Magadha Empire came to prominence under the leadership of Bimbisara of Haranyaka dynasty. So, Magadha Empire had different dynasties throughout history. Okay. So, initially it was Brahadrata dynasty, Brahadrata dynasty and next Pradyota. Okay. After that, it comes Haranyaka dynasty and then Shishunaga, Nanda and Mauryan Empire. So, these dynasties comes under Magadhan Empire. Okay? So, Magadhan Empire came to prominence under the leadership of Bimbisara who belonged to Haranyaka dynasty. He was contemporary of Buddha. Okay? Bimbisara was the contemporary of Buddha. This is a prelims question. So, please be careful. Okay? Bimbisara was the contemporary of Buddha. Later, expansion took place under the Shishunaga and Nandas, but it reached the top zenith under Mauryan Empire. So, Magadhan Empire had locational advantage. That's why it grew at the cost of other Magadhan Empires. So, it was located near the present day Patna in Bihar. Okay? So, here it has geographical advantage because Magadhan Empire was located between River Ganga in the north. Okay, River Ganga in the north, Son in the west, and Vindhyan Ranges in the south, and Champa in the east. So, this territory was protected from three sides from the enemy attack by enemy. So, this provided the enormous protection to this, to this uh, uh, empire and helped in expanding its influence to other Mahajanapadas. So, now let's look at the dynasties under Mah Magadhan Empire. So, Magadhan Empire had uh, Bimbisara, uh, sorry, Brahadrata dynasty, then Pratyodha dynasty. After that, Haranyaka dynasty, the most important dynasty, came into prominence from 600 to 413 BC. The most important ruler in the Haranyaka dynasties were Bimbisara and his son Ajata Shatru. So these two uh, were the most important kings, and Haranyaka dynasty expanded during this time. Okay. After that, after Haranyaka we find Shishunaga dynasty from 413 to 345 BC. So here Shishunaga uh, was the major king and Kala Kosha also an important king. So here in Haranaka dynasty under Ajata Shatru first Buddhist council was organized. Okay, first Buddhist council. And second was organized in Kala Kosha period. Okay, in, under Shishunaga dynasty. Second. And third during Mauryan dynasty under Ashoka. Okay. So, fourth under uh, Kanishka. Okay. So, next is Nanda dynasty. Mahapadmananda was the greatest king, and Dhananda was defeated by the Chandragupta Maurya for establishing Mauryan dynasty. So, these are the important dynasties under uh, Magadhan Empire. I am going to discuss in detail about this. Don't worry. So, the earliest known king of Magadhan Empire is Brodrata. His name appeared in Rigveda also. Okay, so he founded Brihadrata dynasty. His son was Jarasandra. So name of Jarasandra appears frequently in Mahabharata and Purana many times. So you might have uh, read about these stories during your childhood. Okay, so Brihadrata dynasty ended approximately 8th century BC. So after that we have Pratyodha dynasty. So Pratyodha dynasty rulers ruled for 138 years, and the kings here the the, the Irony here is that in this dynasty, the kings used to kill their fathers as a tradition to become kings. Uh, so, to snatch power from their father, they used to kill their own father. So, the patricide was a common 
norm in Magadhan Empire. So this has been transmitted to other dynasty as well under Ma Magadhan Empire. Okay. Next after that, Pratyada dynasty comes Haranyaka dynasty. So here the people rose into rebellion after watching the patricidal acts by these Pratyada kings. So this part way for Haranyaka dynasty. Under Haranyaka dynasty, we have two major kings. That is Bimbisara and Ajatashatru. So, Bimbisara was the first great king of Haryanaka dynasty. So, he was the most remarkable king of Mauryan uh, dynasty of Magadha. So, the, he uh, followed the policy of marital relation uh, to expand his territory as a, as a policy of state. So, he married daughters of, uh, of various kings uh, to expand his territory, to, to, to establish dynastic alliance. Okay? So, Bimbisara had four wives. This was for result of Bimbisara policy of dynastic analysis. His chief queen was Kemka, no, not Kemka, sorry, Kema. The four queens of Bimbisara were Koshala Devi. She was the sister of Pasendi, okay, uh, of, uh, of Aiksava dynasty. So Kashi was given as a dowry to Bimbisara for marrying uh, Koshala Devi. So similarly, Chelana, the daughter of Chetaka, was also married to Bimbisara and also a lot of large amount of land was uh, donated uh, provided as dowry okay so these two are other marital relations not much important so i'm not going to discuss so religion of bimbisara is he patronized both jainism and buddhism later bimbisara imprisoned his imprisoned by his own son ajatashatru so he starved him to death so patricide followed to haranaka dynasty as well and the reason for the success of Bimbisara was married matrimonial alliance. He had large standing army at that time and efficient administrative machinery as well. Now let's look at the Ajatashatru, the son of Bimbisara. He ruled from 491 BC to 461 and he killed his own father by starving him to death to snatch, him, snatch power from him. Okay? So he expanded his territory by fighting war with Lachavis, Lachavi princes. So because Lachavi was one of the most prized uh, territory of, of that period and he uh, waged war for 16 years and after, after 16 years he absorbed Lachavi into his em empire. So Ajata Shatru employed two important war missionaries during that period which provided a lot of advantage to him um, over enemies. Okay, These two are Maha sorry Mashila Kanta okay? Mashila Kanta and Ratha Musula. Okay, Mashila Kanta and Ratha Musula were the two war equipments used, uh, uh, preferably invented by Ajatashatru against Lachavis. So, Mashila Kanta was an engine kind of equipment which ejected big stones. You might have observed in Bahubali movie. Okay, so an instrument which ejected the big stones. Okay, to, towards the enemy. Okay, you might have observed this in Bahubali movie that is called Mashila Khanta. It, it was employed by Ajatashatru at that time. Okay, second is Ratha Musula. It was a chariot with a musula, that means blade. Okay, chariot with a blade at the front. It was attached at both the sides of the chariot, which ran, caused a lot of casualties. So, this was used by uh, in the film Bahubali Rana. Okay, the, his chariot was fixed with a, a fan mace it it, it 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 destroys all the enemies in the battlefield so these two were the important uh, war equipments used by ajatashatru this may come in the prelims examination so uh, you do not confuse this with any um, any other term in the ancient history these are the war war equipments okay and the most important thing from the ajatashatru is that during this time his time both buddha and mahavira and nirvana okay and makkali gosala that is the founder of ajivika path also attained nirvana during the ajatashatra period so this is a prelims question please remember this so ajatashatra first uh, conducted buddhist council so he shared the relics of buddha and enshrined them in a stupa and he renovated 18 more buddhist monasteries so immediately after the death of buddha ajatashatra sponsored the first buddhist council which was organized in Rajgir at Satapani cave. Okay, the meeting was presided by Mahakasapa. 
So in this council, the Ananda and Upali, the disciples of Buddha, recited Sutta Pitaka and Vinaya Pitaka. We know that Buddhist literature has Sutta, Vinaya and Vidama Pitaka. So these two Pitaka were recited during the first Buddhist council. So if you look at the legacy of Ajahn Sutra, he built a fort at Pataliputra, so he is known as founder of Patna. His son Udayan developed the Pataliputra as a city. But sadly, he was killed by his son Udayan because of patricidal uh, uh, leelings of these of this, uh, rulers. Okay? Not only these remarkable kings of Aranyaka dynasty were the victims of patricide, but also later kings shared the same fate of the Aranyaka dynasty. So, Udayan was succeeded by Anruddha. So, he was also assassinated by his son uh, Munda and Nagasaka. They were also uh, made the same fate by their own son. So, the people rose in revolt and Shishanaga dynasty was imposed on them. So, this all the details about Magadhan Empire. Uh, in the coming video, let us discuss about Shishanaga, Nanda and Moran Empire. Thanks for watching. And if you found uh, difficult in following current affairs topics and I have a wonderful course for you uh, called weekly current affairs analysis for UPSC 2016 which provides you um, integrated approach for the examination from both prelims and mains examination point of view and also provides background information analysis from prelims and mains so it is a wonderful course if you want you can join it will be very beneficial for the beginners as well as working professionals it reduces their load and provides the integrated approach to the examination if you want you can click here and subscribe to that there has been a lot of good reviews coming from this course by the subscribers i am working hard to uh, make this a successful initiative please be a part of this initiative subscribe to that thanks for watching